the purpose of this instrument is first and foremost is to simka, is to worship or praise, tefila, tehila, I should say, tehila. And praise, according to the average Christian, has nothing to do with what the scripture says. And Psalms 150 gives us an example. But one of the things you need to know is this instrument is to be blown every Shabbat. Now, if you, get in, if you go to some of the, I would say, orthodox semin, uh, uh, shuvs and some of the orthodox, uh, non-orthodox reform shuvs or synagogues, you know, they don't blow the shofar, they blow it once a year. It's blown on Rosh Hashanah, we know it as Yom Teruah, Yom Teruah, Day of the Blast, Yom Teruah, Sheka Shofar, Sheka Shofar. Not uh, yeah, ra, um, Rosh Hashanah. Rosh is head, Rosh, Resh, Rosh, Resh, the R, the R in the Hebrew. And then Hashanah is time. So the head time. And in, according to scripture, the time when, when the uh, Jewish people celebrate Rosh Hashanah, it's not the time when Yahweh says there's a new beginning. The new beginning is, was changed in the book of what? Exodus, remember? And he changed the first day of the month, which was Tishri, the first month, Tishri, to what? Nesan. And that became April, May. So the new year is actually, according to scripture, is April, May. All right? But the, the shofar specifically is supposed to be blown every Shabbat during the time of praise. Praise. 